Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So for today, we are going to draw, going on with our Sing tutorials from the movie Sing by Illumination. It's the same people who made Minions and Despicable Me. So last week we drew Buster Moon and you guys, the biggest comment I kept seeing was how to draw Johnny from Sing. So let's go ahead and draw Johnny. The first thing I'd like to do is I want to go ahead all the way up here and we're going to make a circle. To go ahead and start drawing Johnny, what I want to do first is I want to go ahead and we're going to break down his face. So here's the middle of his face and here's his line for his eyes. So after that, what I want to do is I'm going to make a big circle here and off to the side I'm going to make a big circle right here. And I want these circles to be fairly close to each other. I'm going to leave about that much space in between each other. After that, I'm going to go right up here, draw another circle. And then after that, you're going to build down underneath that and make another circle. Now these are not Johnny's eyes, these big circles. They're just the areas around his eyes that are gray as opposed to the rest of his, his fur, which is black. So what I want to do first is we're going to jump over here and make start one eye here. And now that I have that eye, I'm going to go ahead and draw an eye here. And then I'm just going to build up off of that like this. Jump over here and build up off of it like this. Now, of course, Johnny doesn't have that much space for a pupil iris, so we only see his pupil. So all we have to draw are two little black dots. And then inside of his nose, if you want to go ahead and clear out that whole entire space, but keep this whole circle, what you're going to do is you're going to jump over here, give a little itty bitty tiny seed, it looks like a seed, like this, I'm going to do the exact same thing, draw a little seed over here as well. After that, you're going to jump down to here, and kind of in the middle, right about there, draw a little dot here, and a little dot here. And what you're going to do is you're going to connect those two dots together, After that, what I want to do is I want to start to shape up his face a little bit more. So you're going to jump up to here, and you're going to make this little area. Johnny doesn't really have eyebrows, but he has his head kind of makes up his eyebrows, his forehead. And that's Aaron. Yep. Because he's just walking by with the leaf blower still on. He knows I'm doing a tutorial, obviously. <laughs> We're seeing more of this side of the face as opposed to the other side, so I'm just going to bring down this whole forehead. I'm going to jump over here, bring this pretty close, and then bring this down. Now the thing you want to keep in mind, it happens, it happened with Buster Moon last week and it's happening with Johnny, is you do have these circles around his eyes and everything and around his nose and mouth, but you don't want it to be such a hard line. You kind of want to like shade it in, just shade it in in a way. So if I were to go around and just lightly shade around.
After that, what I'd like to do is I want to go ahead and darken around down here instead of a hard line and underneath his eyes. And on above his circles, on his eyes, where his eyebrows would be. Then what you can do is you're going to jump back here, give him one ear, jump over here, give him another, this one, since we're seeing more of this side of his head, we can see his ear more over here, as opposed to over here, and then we're going to jump on top, and give him his fantastic little cute hairstyle. And you want to, you want the top of his hair to go in this direction, like it's pointing up and going in that direction. And you're gonna go ahead and bring it down all the way to back behind his ear. And this is black, just like his fur. Then what I wanna do is, we're going to give him his shoulders. And what's basically covering up his shoulders is his jacket. So I'm going to lightly draw through his face and start the beginning of his shoulders. And from over here, what I'm going to do is bring this around, go in, out, jump over here, bring this down just a bit, go in, go out, bring this down. Then I'm going to jump down here. jump over here bring this down as well so this is the collar I mean his lapels to his leather jacket so let's roughly place his body just a little bit more I'm gonna start from his shirt as opposed to his jacket what you're gonna do is bring this in just a bit and this is mostly covering up the rest of his bot of his body but we're gonna come down here bring this in. I'm going to stop and then I'm going to jump back to his jacket here, bring this in, down, and then I'm going to jump back up to his lapel, bring this down, start to bring this down. part that attaches to his overall jacket is his sleeve. Go behind the lapel and I'm just going to lightly draw through it. Keep bringing this down. Round this off. And then from over here, let's go ahead and give him his arm over here. Now we don't see much of his shoulder, so we're going to go ahead and start here from these two lapels. And I'm just going to lightly draw through it. And then from right here, you're going to jump out just a little bit and make a crease. And then I'm going to jump and finish off this side of his jacket, which goes down and into his torso. And then I'm going to go back. this upwards and back into his arm. So this is a part of his jacket.
So after that, what you're gonna do underneath his shirt, you're gonna bring down just a little bit right here. Circle this inward all the way to over here. Bring it up into his jacket. And then right here, we're gonna go to the middle, give a little bit of a bridge indication. Go off to the side like this. And you're gonna jump over here. Go like this. And he doesn't have that long of legs since he is a gorilla. So we're just gonna cut this off right here. Go into the rest of the pants area we just made. Jump over here. Since this, this foot is turned outwards and this one is turned towards us. Just lead that into each other. And then you're going to go ahead and just draw the front of his foot. So you go down, out this way, and bring this down. In the front, go over here and bring this down and out this way. Let's go ahead and just finish the rest, let's just finish the design of his pants. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead, he has his pants rolled up so they look like they have cuffs on the end of his pants. So we're going to just give a cuff here, and then we give a cuff here. And then we'll jump up to right here, where you're going to make that line that we all see in our jeans. And it's going to go to right there. Give a little bit of a crease and then bring this down. It's just the zipper to his actual pants. And you can actually give him a couple of wrinkles in his pants because they are sort of baggy. Designs on his shoes, he does have small feet. So this one's looking at us, and then over here, this one's turned to the side. So we can kind of see the bottom, the sole, and we can see the top. They are current Converse shoes. I'm just I'm gonna make a couple of lace lines here. Bring down a little shoelace, and over here, I'm gonna bring down a shoelace over here. But the thing is, with his pants, no pants, especially jeans, look pretty flat. Unless, I mean, they're skinny jeans, and Johnny's not wearing skinny jeans. <laughs> so I want to go around and like give a couple of those folds in his jeans. So you got some here. And then over here, what I'd like you to do is you're going to jump up to right about here, and you're going to make a pocket. Go over here. And we can't really see the pocket over here, but what you're going to do, you're going to draw a line right there. And from over here, from that line, you're going to bring down this part, and circle back in, into his sleeve. And you're going to jump from that area to get rid of this guideline. You're going to jump out from over here, bring this in, like that, and make this curve. Here, jump over here, and you're gonna jump from right from these fingers because these are his fingers because he's got one thumb tucked inside of his pocket back here underneath right there. Go ahead and give him his furry hand. He's got fur on top of his hands. For over here, you're just gonna go ahead make this a little bit shorter. Bring down this hand and we're just gonna fold it in. So if we jump off to the side, bring this down. Cut right here. Cut an area here. Cut an area here. And 
will jump down on this hand and give him his fur. Now for the neckline of his shirt, it goes right underneath his chin. It's going to go down and back up into here. And you're going to jump down, line that, go up, and bring it into the lapel of his jacket. And then he has a huge design on his shirt. Just make a circle right back here. Most of it is hiding behind this side of his jacket. After you make the circle, jump inside, make another circle, and then from here you just got a basic, looks like a Harry Potter scar. It's just a lightning bolt. goes for his jacket like his pants you just don't want to make it just a smooth line so you want to go around and give it some folds because it is a leather jacket so you just want to go around and give a couple of like lines wavy lines that'll make it a little bit lumpy underneath his neck and shave that in. I mean his face, he's got a large face, so go underneath that, shade in his neck. <laughs> and give him a little earlobe here. Also there is one line dividing up his shirt. And there you go. There's the easiest, quickest way on how to draw Johnny. I, I mean, that is a full body, so that's pretty, it's pretty fun, pretty good for good old Johnny. I love him, I love his voice, and if you have not seen the movie Sing yet, I definitely would go and see it as soon as possible. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Which other Sing character would you like to learn? I saw a couple of requests for Rosita, or... Who, who else? Who else? Who else? You guys leave in the comments down below and we'll go ahead and get that character done next week. Have a wonderful week and I will see you all later. Bye!